Hello there, if you want to set up a getaway Shopify uh, payment on your current country, you are in the right place. Let's see how we can do this in a very easy, easy steps. You don't have to be worrying about that. Uh, it's something we must do in order to start selling and of course in order to gain money here into Shopify. So let's dig into it. I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can get a free account and you can get a 14 free day trial of all the basic tools that Shopify has to offer to us so you don't have to pay absolutely for anything and after that you want to choose if you want to create a store here into Shopify or you want just to pass it out. Alright so let's begin here as you can see I already have my account already created and I can hit into my stores and here into my stores if I don't have a store I just need to hit into create another store and you can customize that as you can see i don't have like a lot of things customized uh so far but i do want to focus only into the payment section so now that you have here your store created you want to go into your settings which is actually in here and now what i want to do is to focus into the payments that appears in here and what's going to happen here is going to be appearing the payment provider here, as you can see, we have the supported payment methods. These are payment methods that are available for Shopify. And depending on the country that you're currently living, there are going to be a few providers that can be available or some other may not going to be that way. If you want to add a manual payment method, for example, let's say that you want to make payment outside your online store with some specific customer, you want to choose manual payment method. Uh, let's say you want to receive a bank deposit and here you can choose all the additional details and the payment instructions uh, it's a little bit difficult to do this I mean it's not that hard but if you want to make trades outside of Shopify well uh, you might want to take a look here into the bank deposit because of the taxes and all that so I don't want to focus in here and what I'm gonna be doing here is to scroll a little bit up and find the choose a provider now here as I just said these providers are going to be appearing depending on the country that you're currently living. So if I want to choose payment method as specific for Visa and MasterCard only, let's say that's an example. I want to choose payment methods and here I want to choose only Visa and MasterCard. So here we do have third parties payment providers like the two, two check how the cyber shows here this Mercado Pago actually it's only appearing here into Latin America I'm not sure if this is available for you stripe for example is a really great application but once again as you can see uh, there are a few that are not available in my country so I don't want to choose all those options but here what I'm going to be doing here is to clear these options and what I want to be focusing is on PayPal, for example. And now, as you can see, we don't only have this method. So what I want to do is to choose this option. And specifically speaking about this third party, this third party uh, is asking me for a client ID and a client secret. And then it's going to be appearing the payment method that you want to accept. So for example, speaking about the same thing that I just told you before, let's say that we just want to accept Visa and MasterCard. I want to disable American Express, PayPal, and this ticket. If you want to enable the test mode, this is just for simulating a successful and some failed transaction so you can start like uh, figuring out if it, work, if it works or if it doesn't work. After you input your data, you want to input the activate your source and i'm going to be showing you just real quick that i'm going to hit into the lift page some third parties for example to check out is going to be uh redirecting you into their own uh browser into their own section in order to apply because we need to apply to become a merchant or something like that so once again as you can see here we have the account information the merchant code and the secret code now in order to get this information as you can see we have this setup instructions so create a two checkout account login to activate so i'm going to hit into open a new tab and here we want to sign up for free 
and I want to provide my first, my last name, a business email, a password. The website really important that you choose your Shopify website if you don't have a specific, uh, let's say for example, domain, you want to use the one that was created for you here into Shopify so you don't have any issues there and the country where you want to start working and going to get started. Now, there are a few places where I'm pretty sure that they're going to be taking a few days in order to verify your information, your integrations, and then they're going to be sending you a merchant code and a secret code. So those, you need to provide that in here. I'm not pretty sure if this is like something that has to be happening with all the third parties. As you can see, I used uh, Mercado Pago and this one didn't ask for something like that actually we just needed to sign in it was really really easy but once again if you want to choose like the what we want to figure out actually what payment method what third party is the right for you you want to choose here just to enable the option that can be fitable for you now if we go into the checkout section you want uh if you want let's say for example that this is not optional it's required for customers to create an account into your store you want to check that this accounts are required and here customer content method you want to choose either a phone number an email or just an email i love to use a phone number email and i love to use the accounts are required because that way i do have all the information of my uh recurring context so i don't have to gather that manually so all those stuff's going to be added automatically and i don't have to do like a lot so here i just want to make sure that i have the right information i need to ask them for uh require first and last name this is optional the, co the company name i do want the address line, I think this is not important. The shipping address of the phone number, this is optional as well. And the tipping options to check out if you want to earn uh, just let's say a few boxes, you want to enable that. Here's percent number one, ten percent, uh five percent of the tipping. I'm gonna hit into ten and maybe fifteen. And then here's the order processing. I don't want to focus in here just for a second. I'm going to hit into save only. This is the only part that I think it's really, really important, guys. And lastly, once you have everything successfully done, what you want to do is to hit into the billing section. And hit into the billing section, you want to have, you must have a payment method in order to verify your account and of course to receive money. Otherwise, this payment checkout section is actually just it's not going to work guys so hit into add payment method add your credit card or your debit card or your paypal account i can strongly suggest you to stick around with a paypal account because it's really really easy and after you have everything here successfully added the rest is going to be just really really simple guys and of course lastly you want to check it out your taxes and duties depending on the country that you're currently living so you don't have any uh legal issues the into your store so hopefully guys this was a very useful video for you don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about this shopify tips settings and store details thank you so much for watching this video guys the best of luck for you and i'll see you guys in the next one